So another factor of depression and also possible treatment area of depression is that relating to hyperthermia. Um, it's been found that those with major depressive disorder actually have higher uh, body temperature on average. Um, and this has led to some of the questioning of whether um, putting somebody into a period of hyperthermia or high body temperature, uh, if you extend them past this, uh, this heightened amount of depression, whether it can help to sort of um, reenact the body's natural cooling mechanisms and sort of reset the thermometer of the body. Um, and so there have been a couple studies that have looked into this. Um, there was this one randomized, double-blind, uh, randomized controlled trial of 30 adults with depression, and they were exposed to just one session of hyperthermia. Uh, and it was found that after um, uh, about a week there was really uh, significant antidepressant effects and this lasted for up to six weeks afterwards. Um, there was another study then that was sort of created after, or actually I don't know if it was before or after, but looking at the effect of saunas, uh, sauna sessions on uh, depressive symptoms. And this study took 28 people who were diagnosed with depression and had them on a four week regimen of sauna use um, and found that there were a decrease in some of the depression symptoms, including uh, anxiety and body aches associated with using the sauna. Um, and so this has maybe some of its effect through heat shock proteins, which are released by our bodies. Um, and in addition, there's sort of this inflammatory response that I talked about with exercise that is um, a, a, a brief sort of small amount of inflammation that then induces the body's sort of anti-inflammatory response to that. Um, so in a lot of ways, hyperthermia and sauna use actually um, sort of mirror the effects of exercise. And uh, so you can get sort of a similar benefit of having a small amount of uh, increased inflammation uh, that then leads to our bodies sort of um, training our body's uh, anti-inflammatory mechanism to take over and and uh, and to sort of in effect to reset the the thermometer to bring the temperature down. Um, again, is everything that I say. This is not medical advice. This has not been uh, studied to a degree where we can say with certainty that it's helpful. And in some ways. Um, certainly hyperthermia and sauna use can be dangerous, so it should always be something that you discuss with your doctor before trying. Um, nevertheless, it is uh, something that uh, I find to be sort of interesting and exciting in the literature and uh, that hopefully uh, we can continue to watch and, and see uh, the effects, the positive effects that this might have.